<laughs> I was like, oh, they have to assemble a team of the seven deadly assassins? Well, that's interesting. Well, I thought they were um, going to include like more X-Men. Okay. Hey, are we live on Twitch? Beautiful, beautiful. Great. Hey, everybody. Special time, special place. Special, special day. day. Welcome back to the break room. Special, special Super Bowl Sunday edition. Um, we might have gotten monetized by me saying Super Bowl. Apologies. Yeah, you know how to say it. The big game big is game. what they call it. Big game. Yes. Uh, fun game. We just watched it here in the studio. We were, we were mostly looking out for trailers, but we also enjoyed some football. Um, and we're going to talk about all the trailers we saw today. Brandon and Jessica have already shot a reaction to the Wicked trailer. That's right. Eric has already shot and it's already uploaded. <laughs> <laughs> and is that the last time you will hear no, that music? No, no. uh, I demand it. Send um, in those super chats if you want to hear a wow. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about the Wicked trailer, the Twisters trailer, the Fall Guy most recent trailer. We might mention Monkey Man and Kung Fu Panda 4, and we're definitely gonna talk Deadpool 3. And don't okay? confuse Monkey Man with Kingdom of the Planet. Oh, well. that's right. <laughs> Completely Those are apes, not monkeys, different. <laughs> yes, that's right. Um, you'll never make a monkey out of me. Um, <laughs> uh, we're live on Twitch, of course, tag uh, at Break Room NR. Producer Evan is there, we're, we're also, are we already live on YouTube? Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, you didn't tell Zach. We're also live on YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Hello, New Rockstars YouTube. You used to see us all the time. That's right. We used and to be moron uh, New Rockstars YouTube. Moron? Mor <laughs> we're still morons. Yeah, we're still morons. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, well, we're, we're, and we're doing a special uh, live on New Rockstars um, kind of break room reaction edition. Uh, you can normally catch us over on the Break Room channel, uh, but today we, we, for the special event of getting all these trailers, and especially the Deadpool 3 trailer, we felt like we had to go live with right. Rock Stars. Um, so, throw in the chat, we've got um, some of our uh, friends, I think uh, Producer Berg and maybe Producer Riley are monitoring the YouTube chat, Producer Evan is monitoring Twitch, Tag us, tag them uh, with questions, reactions, favorite moments. We're gonna try to get to as many of those as possible. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's um, do it. Before uh, we get into the big trailer, Deadpool 3. Uh, oh, uh, actually I should probably introduce. <laughs> You you forgot everything. It wasn't in the to prompter. To be fair, it's not in the prompter. It wasn't in the prompter. I'm forgot. just saying, it's not like we haven't been live on. Yeah, it's not like we haven't been live in a long time. Uh, I'm Zach Huddleston. Um, you may or may not recognize me, uh, but I'm here with uh, Brandon Barrick. Forgot his name. Hello. I brought the pimento cheese dip. It was delicious. And who you'll definitely recognize, Jessica Clemens Woo! is here. I didn't bring anything. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. She brought her wonderful personality. Um, yeah, producer Evan. Uh, and yeah, before we, before we watch that first trailer, I want to uh, say some shout outs to some people from Twitch. Uh, thank you, your boy Jay, Aaron Storm, Storm Cutie, Kobe Wan Kenobi, Christian Unpronounceable, X Dot Matt, uh, Coco Type. Thank you all for the bits and for resubbing. Uh, Nacho Gaming 20, um, Tyler with a No, H Bass 13. Thank you so much. And thanks to. Um, Rantel Moore on YouTube for sending in a super chat. Whoa! Thank you, Evan. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna try to get to if you uh, super chat us, maybe have a, a question, um, uh, a lingering detail you would love us to mm. chat about. Yeah. We'll try to get to all of those in the course of our live stream. But um, let's start here. We're gonna get to Deadpool three. Uh, we have a lot to say about that, but let's let's work our way up. Okay. Huh? Um, well, appetizer. That's right. Let's start with that Twisters. Trailer, the first we're seeing of the Glenn Powell starring uh, sequel. Big uh, year for GP this year. Yeah, let's let's roll footage on that. Mm. Only in cinemas. It looks no day so given? much. No mm. day given. Uh, I think that's a. Is that a May release? It's a summertime. Uh, okay. Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll. Okay. Lots of people in this one now. We got July Glenn Powell. What? July nineteenth. July nineteenth. July's July. gonna be a, a week before cool. Deadpool yeah. three. We got no. Glenn Powell in this one. He's having a big year. Yep. Uh, he'll be in that Hitman movie, a Netflix movie later yep. this year, a Linklater film. Uh, Daisy Edgar Jones, Anthony Ramos we saw, Brandon Perea, uh, and also the new Superman's in this one, David Cornsweet. Wait, he's in there? Yeah. Did we see him in the trailer? I don't know. Do you think he went for the role that Glenn Powell got? Mm. I don't know, because Kieran 
Shipka. Shipka is also cast in this movie. I don't I think you see her, her like anywhere in the trailer either. I don't know if there's gonna be like another team that gets well, killed. I, I, yeah, I threw out the, I <laughs> that. Th that should stay in every movie. <laughs> right. I threw out, yeah, is it a Deadpool 2 style situation where you meet a team and they yeah. get wiped out? Maybe one of those people had a right. previous team, something like that. So that could be the team that Glenn Powell did work with and yeah. then eventually is working on his own because he's the only one that survived. Because you could see like Glenn Powell as like a, a child of uh, Carrie Ellis's character in the first movie, Jonah. And then like Kieran Shipka could play like Helen Hunt's daughter or something. I don't know. According to Glenn Powell, this they are not doing anything like the other. I hope I hope it's like totally disconnected. Though the machine is the same. The, I think that's just like the, I think that Easter egg is for the fans. They're like, oh, okay. we're gonna keep this. You don't in think there. it's like? But I think he said that it's a standalone on its own. It's like original for today. They're mm -hmm. like, it's just the same. It's Twister. It's like the, if you took no, the Twisters. title. I know, but if you took the title, took the premise, <laughs> that's what they're doing. It's like but a standalone sequel. Yeah, it's a standalone like, sequel. This okay. is. Um, that's what he said in an interview. Okay, it's like True Detective, where it's like separated. So they mm. might not be related Anthology. to absolutely no one. They just mm. hold the same spirit as the first one, where mm. they have Jonah, who's an asshole. <laughs> right. Yeah, the same archetypes, yeah. kind of. Yeah. Because the first movie was very much like a horror movie. It was like Helen Hunt's character was like, "These twisters are coming after me. They're trying to kill me." I'm you need to go to back and watch it because it is not scary at all. It's I think scary. It, we talk about group in the it, south. It's yeah, frightening. If you watch it, uh, and it's what 1995ness. Yeah, yeah, it seems scary. Okay. And that's I rewatched watched it. it. Today. Uh, yeah, I wasn't born. So I watched it today, or I was watching it last night, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is more like silly, fun. It's more of a love yeah. triangle story. And I was like, oh, they just, it's two scientists, because Philip Seymour Hoffman's character is so funny, right. is so high, and it's so fun, <laughs> right. that I was like, oh, the spirit of this is like kooky, silly, scientists scary. going off at each other, but this looks just purely scary. No, it's scary. The first one's well, scary. No, yeah. I, You're I also a little baby. I am a baby, but it's scary. <laughs> In some of the same ways that like, Jurassic Park had some very serious, scary sequences, but they're broken up by much lighter right. or silly or whatever sequences. Maybe it seems like they're going for a similar tone here. It looked yeah, just maybe. scary. There was not a silly part in there, except for, I guess, Glenn Powell being like, <laughs> I wrangle tornadoes. Yeah. That was like the silliest part. Really being cocky there. Um, it's written by Mark L. Smith, uh, who wrote The Revenant. Speaking of real Excuse silly me. movies. Uh, <laughs> it said the movie will incorporate climate change in the plot. Well, yeah. So like maybe something about like the tornadoes have gotten worse since 95? Yeah, I think that's a fair and that's a true statement. Now, were the twin tornadoes featured, uh, any word on if those were fraternal or identical? I think it was like a Facebook or the social network situation where one tornado uh, was cast. And Army just, Hammer was playing both yeah. tornadoes. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. got it. Um, uh, does, uh, what do you think in the chat? Does Anthony Ramos' line in the beginning, whatever's in there, it's big and it's moving fast, indicate like these are not normal tornadoes? I'm sure if, if there is like a climate change thing, it's probably like, yeah, these are getting worse, which is like a true thing. Like tornado season kind of has like been elongated and the areas mm. that they consider like in Tornado Alley has like grown. Uh, and we've seen like more F5s in recent years than we've seen like throughout the recording what did of they like just, tornadoes. Didn't they just say that they just had to raise the number that the hurricanes Yeah, hurricane, they want to add a six to the hurricanes. <laughs> Good God. Um, That's just branding though. You got to sell new toys, you know what I mean? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, you got to keep heightening. Yeah. Uh, that's how comedy They get works. rid of our planets, but they add numbers to our hurricanes. <laughs> um, I think I get to say that was a good trailer. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hyped for this movie. I'm yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'll watch anything things. Glenn Powell's in this year. Really? Yeah, I think he's doing a good job. Okay. He's picking good projects. You know, there hasn't been like a new big movie star in a minute. Mm -hmm. Is it him? I think that's big. <laughs> that, that's, that, I'm making the face that Evan's making. That okay. is a Sorry. crazy thing. I haven't seen a movie star in 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> but I, mean, but like, I will say, we haven't had like a disaster movie that was like at this scope because we get like Shark Tornado or yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. here's the crocodiles in the well, water. Well, ever since uh, Roland Emmerich retired from the game, Doc, yeah. we've been missing out on our yeah. disaster Give me movies. that disaster movie. Yeah. It's true. It's true. It's a fun genre. It's fun Bring to bring back. Bring back Geostorm. Yeah. Geostorm. Geostorm. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, okay, so next we're going to roll. Oh, Evan? Really quick, uh, Alistair 410 said, Twister was the first DVD my family ever owned. I watched it on repeat because it came with our DVD player. Rest in peace, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yes, the and, Bill Paxton. and Bill Paxton. And Bill Paxton. Yeah. Yeah. Rough, rough for the male stars there, of uh, Twister. And there's a lot of people in there. I forget that. What's his What's name? His from name? Succession. From Succession, the yeah, older yeah. brother is in it. 
the oh, from, Fierce Bueller. From Fierce uh, yeah. Bueller. Oh, okay. wow. He's in it. I was like, when I saw him, I was like, oh. Tom and so is Connor. Roach from um, what uh, what happens under the stairs or the uh, the, 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 the scary People movie. under the stairs? People under the stairs, oh, yeah. Roach is in it, too. That's right. Um, yeah. Yeah, Evan? And uh, someone uh, sent in a $10 super chat. They asked for the name of the dog that was walking around. The dog's name is Hank. Oh, the dog's yeah, name Yeah, Hank, our studio dog. It's John. Yeah. Uh, you might make it <laughs> My John the dog. dog. Uh, I also want to add that I just found this out that the Twister movie had to change its rating for intense weather. Like the first one? Yeah, the first movie. They at first it was like a certain rating, and they uh -huh. had to go to a higher rating because it's scary. Because they were like intense weather. That's not real. <laughs> because it's scary. Yeah, because you're a little big. Well, and the, the <laughs> when they had the Twister ride at Universal, the ride didn't you, feature a love triangle. It featured a scary tornado. Nah. No, I will say it wasn't a great ride. Um, <laughs> they also had to up the rating because the original Twister uh, was topless most of the. <laughs> Never wore a shirt. Brandon, uh, kick him out. Brandon, kick his I ass can't. to the crib. I can't. First movie, and I he's can't. out. We have, we have okay. a blood pact. Uh, speaking of topless, let's get into this Kingdom of the Planet of yeah. the Apes trailer. And they were topless. Not a lot of shirts on these apes. No. They're not, they're not trying to invent shirts. The beach, I mean, the beach scene where they're like walking on the beach, it yeah. looks very much like, are they going to do the Statue of Liberty? It, in this it looked movie? like they were doing a lot of those call outs, right, like right. a lot of those little uh, teases. And I was like, wait, we're going back? Um, can we call in for, to the bullpen here? Uh, resident, um, not expert, but more <laughs> familiar with the franchise than most, uh, producer John Costa. Can you swing on in to chat with us a little bit about Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes? Yeah, is now a good time to tell you I haven't watched the trailer yet? Oh, okay. We just, um, just watch the trailer. Great. Uh, you guys had headphones in. I was uh, just watching on the screen. Oh, okay. Um, so one monkey was holding a baby. He's not a monkey. It's an ape. One ape was okay. holding a baby. Wait, are so apes are monkeys, but monkeys are not apes? How does that work? It does. It's not important. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, all, monkeys. monkeys have tails. Apes all don't have of tails. the all of the monkeys in these films are apes, right? Okay. Uh, There's no bonobos. Right. right. There's no bonobos. There's no gibbons. No. Okay. No. no. You know, oh my! Why do you know? Bonobos so many is the ape. Gibbons a monkey. This is oh. interesting. This is an interesting movie. It's going to take place. Uh, it's, I think a 300 yeah, year yeah. time jump after mm -hmm. War for the Planet of the Apes, which was the last one that came out and. The same year Dunkirk came out. I don't know why I remember that. Um, <laughs> That's your ADBC. Uh, no, well, you know what? To be honest with you, I saw them uh, back to back. That was your Barbenheimer, day. right? I was my Barbenheimer, <laughs> and uh, it's really hard to take a movie about monkeys killing people Eight. seriously after watching Dunkirk. Dunkirk. Yes. Uh, just a point of clarification, Berg said oh. monkeys have tails, apes oh. do not. Hey, you know what? Tell private. Berg to shut the fuck up. No, oh, no. no. John. 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 It's a family our first, show. Our first F bomb, and you're, you're pointing show. it at one of our staff We're 13 members. minutes in. I don't know how long that's been on for. A family show. <laughs> what I think is interesting is, you know, the, fir the, the second and third movies were directed by Matt Reeves, who moved yeah. on to do the Batman films. This movie is being directed by like a relatively unknown director. He did the Maze Runner films. Oh, I liked Maze Runner. Um, and that that's like basically it. <laughs> well, if you're into that, that's great. Um, but there's no Andy Circus, yeah. no oh. Terry Notary, who was like kind of the number two ape and has been like oh. the ape guy for, for forever. For the square. And uh, what was he recently did the, oh, for um, in uh, Jordan Peele's Note. Yeah. He, yeah, he, he was, did the mocap for yep, the chimp in the that. He did the chimp for that. He, I mean, he was, on, he was on Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes. He was on a bunch of X-Men movies. He's not in this movie for some reason. You'd hmm. think that like, yeah, sure, maybe you can't get any circus to come back, but like you'd want your kind of heavy hitter mocap people to be in this yeah. film. But the, the lead is a, like a pretty young guy uh, and hasn't been in much. I'm not flexible. Owen Teague, I think, is his name. Um, Noah yeah. is the name Noah. of that character. No, yeah, Noah's the name of the character. Owen's the actor. Um, so I, I'm, I'm curious to see this movie. I like the first three. And so but as of the last uh, part of this franchise, like where did humans sit? Are, are there no humans left on Earth at the last? No, they're just like humans, but they're like, they're running scared. What was it? What was it? I, it? I'm really trying to dig back in my brain. It was like Woody Harrelson had an encampment of yeah. apes, and they ended up, Caesar was like in prison, and they had a revolution and then escaped. Yeah. But Caesar died sacrificing himself for these apes. And like the end of the movie, I want, I, if I recall correctly, was just like, you know, okay, they're they're gonna go leave to have a civilization. Yeah, they're gonna go over here. People can go over here. Cool. Got we'll it. see. And so this is interesting because you know we're we're well far in the future. It looks like humans are maybe not the number one predators on the planet yet. If you can read both the lines of this trailer. Well, in that that, that, that sequence of like the apes on horseback chasing right. out humans with nets, very not evocative of the original Charles right. and Heston movie. Absolutely. Similar sequences. Absolutely. Right? But they've yeah. they've been on horses I think since the second movie. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. But 
the people like the humans not having language was like the original movie. The humans had regressed to a point where like they oh, no had like a real language. They were very animalistic in how they lived. Yeah, that's where they were yeah, all so mind so, blown when Charlie wait, when Charlie could speak. Could speak yeah. It was like, oh. <laughs> and so th these films are in a different continuity than those films, but are like potentially building up to that type of moment. Right. Do we see um, human ape? No. Get Zach, it out of your what head. What the hell's wrong? You asked that for every movie, Zach, and it's never gonna happen. If there's an I'm, ape to, I'm ape sorry. Making can, love? can we go back to Twisters real quick? I think we did. Do we see oh, no. human ape sucking? <laughs> Whoa, John! You said Twister. I thought we were talking about a Twister. <laughs> A twister Twister's hits the zoo, and a man and an ape get spun around, and their clothes go flying off. Yeah, that's right. perfect. Big yeah, Twister's sorry. talking. Sorry. They could be sorry. platonic. I apologize. They could just so be sorry. platonic Thank friends. You hey, Thank, Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Okay, but I that, can talk. He can talk. He can talk. Um, a good, a good trailer. I mean, interesting. Obviously, no, both no recognizable human actors in that trailer. And then, do we have our? Evan disagrees with you. Our, the, the one actress who, who plays the, the young woman, that's uh, Freya Allen from the Witcher series. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, I did not even notice her. Wait, play it back. Yeah, <laughs> unrecognizable. I did not even see yeah. her. Yeah. Play it back. Uh, and then I felt like I recognized some of the voices, some of the voice acting. Were there any, are any of those actors we would know? Yes, I believe so. Bill Macy. Bill Macy. Is, is the that, only guy I recognize. Oh, Bill Macy, yeah. Not, not to be confused with William Macy. Uh, no, it's the same guy. No, no, but, Bill. What? Bill yeah. and William, same person. <laughs> William H. Macy? Yeah. Oh wait, you call him Bill? Yeah. Yeah. They're, okay, they're, you're also off mic like right that. now, John. This is great audio. <laughs> Sorry, he goes by he goes by Bill. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> William H. Macy doesn't go him. by Bill in Macy. In my circles, he goes Throw by in Bill. the chat. Does anybody call, call William? William H. Macy Bill Macy? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Um, uh, but though, who had the really deep resonant voice? Is that somebody we would recognize? So that's um, an actor named Kevin Durand. <laughs> not to be confused with Kevin Durand. <laughs> I'm not playing this game all day. I know, okay. we're, we're not um, doing that right uh, He played uh, the blob in X-Men Origins Wolverine. Oh, oh, oh that exactly. guy. He's like that super tall. Uh, yeah. Actor has like very kind of sinister. Recently face. broken down on the new Rockstars channel, if you haven't had a chance to do yeah, that. that's right. Um, okay, great. Well, uh, again, another movie I'm kind of coming into blinder, but yeah. still excited. I will for. say the Planet of the Apes trilogy, the most recent one, was really good. It was great, really wrapped up well. It's, I think it's tough to like start again to get in there, but I'm interested in this. It looks cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> before we get to Deadpool 3, which you know we have a lot to say mm. about it, uh, we want to thank one of the sponsors of today's show, KiwiCo. Um, KiwiCo makes awesome crates for kids that let you build cool stuff, uh, like this speaker that we have on the desk here. Uh, we actually put this together. Actually, uh, Alex Berg, who's currently moderating the YouTube chat, helped assemble this. Uh, he channeled his best like 11-year-old industrious mm -hmm. self. Each month, KiwiCo delivers a crate to your door with fun, hands-on projects that are designed by experts and tested by kids, promoting creativity and innovation through STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math activities. <laughs> Every KiwiCo crate comes with uh, everything you need for a complete project, and there are nine different lines to choose from, so there's something for every interest and age, including babies. Hell yeah. <laughs> or babies at heart. You know, some of us are babies, and some of us are just babies Stop at heart. Stop calling me a baby. You're a baby. You'd need the baby kit, Brandon. Uh, this month, we, did, we built this uh, Bluetooth boombox, um, which has these kind of fun, uh, well, let's, let's show them what it can do. Evan? <laughs> It's, it's the theme music. I don't know if you can see on camera, but there are these <laughs> little... It's more... We need yeah. more like a... Uh... John, shut the hell up. Can we get the low end going? There, there it go. is, Evan. There it is. Ooh! Our, our promo code might be blocking some of the... There it is. Oh, look at it. <laughs> oh, you said my cleavage. Okay. <laughs> okay. Blown away. Okay. <laughs> blown away by the uh, It's a family show. Okay, that's good, Evan. Um, but yeah, this... This started a week ago. <laughs> this is just a box of pieces. And Alex Berg put this together. Alex Berg was able to build this in a cave. With a box of scraps. With a box of scraps. Um. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we go pay an extra for that? That's right. Going. Going. Something for the kids, something for the dads. You <laughs> know what I mean? Ah! Brandon spit everywhere. <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay, can you scroll down? <laughs> um, keep it going. They have also have a, a variety of individual crates that you can get at the KiwiCo store if there's a specific project you want to order. Um, and uh, in, in case you're not ready to subscribe or you just want a single crate, to get started with KiwiCo today, head to kiwico.com slash rocks and use code oh. rockstars. <laughs> or is it? Sorry. It's, it's rock stars. Rock it's oh, the prompt to cut it off. It's slash kiwico.com slash rock stars as it is on screen, not on my prompter, but on the screen. And use code rock stars for 50% off your first month of a KiwiCo subscription. Uh, again, thank you to KiwiCo for sending us this really fun kit and for sponsoring this live stream. Um, and real quick, we want to shout out this upcoming Thursday, less than a week away, uh, February 15th, New York is doing a live show in Los Angeles. This really fun theater, Brain Dead Studios. Um, we are uh, Eric's going to be there. Jessica's going to be there. Brandon and I are going to be there. Some other folks uh, from the channel. Um, we're going to get on stage, talk about Deadpool three, talk about Madam Web, talk about uh, whatever's going on in the nerd world. Um, we had a great time the last time we did a show there, and we're very excited for this one. You can get tickets at link in this video's description. We would love to see you there. It's going to be fun. Um, okay. Let's get to the main event. Yeah, let's Fair do to it. call it the main event. D Deadpool 3. Um, yeah. Go ahead, tag at BreakroomNR on Twitch or tag the mods on YouTube with what is your favorite like missable detail? What are your big lingering questions from this trailer? Favorite moment? Uh, what got you the most hype for this movie? Uh, but let's watch it. Ooh. What's funny? What's funny? Um, who did Argyle? Matthew, Matthew Vaughn, Vaughn, when he did that little interview that was like, yeah, I've kind of seen footage or whatever, right, right, right. when he was like, it's really fun. He was like, the bits I've seen with Wolverine and Deadpool or Deadpool and Wolverine, he was like, they're probably, they'll be the ones to fight over that. And I was like, oh, and then we see it here. And then we also see online that Hugh Jackman was like, I corrected it, asshole. Yeah, yeah. And he flipped it and I was like, oh, I think that's just a big part of what Matt Shack, or Matthew Vaughn Yeah, that they don't get along for 90% of the movie. Yeah. The movie. And they just, just fight. Fighting. And they just yeah. fight. They just fight. Um, the TVA is trying to stop them, but they just keep fighting. Now, this was, at the end of the trailer, that's the first confirmation we've seen that that's the title of the movie. Yes. Right? Deadpool and Wolverine. I think that had been rumored, but there were some others. They recently put well. in a, they, they trademarked the titles like Deadpool 3, Deadpool and Friends, Deadpool and Friends, and Deadpool and Wolverine, I think. All of those were kind of trademarked by Disney recently, or Marvel. Uh, so yeah, we weren't sure what the name was going to be. This seems to be like the name. I think it's a good name for it. It's a good title. Yeah. Yeah. What's well, also, it, I think it's really smart too, because like, it, it doesn't say Deadpool 3. Right. Which doesn't it feel like, even though this is a franchise we love, and like we've had two good installments, we're all excited for this one, but like, maybe this is not the time in cinema going when people are the most jazzed for sequels. You know what I mean? And to mm. almost like brand this as like, you don't have to see the other Deadpools. Yeah. If you haven't rewatched Deadpool 2 in years, it's fine. You'll enjoy this on its own, right? You don't like, have to know who Pyro is. <laughs> don't worry about we'll it. We'll get to that. Um, we also have the 30-second uh, the TV spot, which is slightly different. I think we're going to roll that one as well. We have to get an army of the best crooks and criminals. Kill Bill. Hey, kids, be careful of those fireworks. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, wait, this is the audio for Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> is it? It is. It is. It is. It absolutely is. Yeah. How did that happen? It that worked. is. It fit really, really well. Yeah. That's really fun. It was fun. a good musical cue. Uh, I was like, who's the kid Floyd in Wizard of Oz? Yeah. Right. I was like, oh, they have to assemble a team of the seven deadly assassins? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Well, I thought they um, were going to include like more X-Men that we know that are going to be. So I was like, oh, maybe that is, this is new. You get like, like a different time. shot of Wolverine out of focus in that one. Yeah, yeah. That's. I think that's like the main thing. There yeah. might be some. some Not like with this cowl on. Yeah. Which we've been told we'll see it in the movie, but not there. Uh, and, and of course, we already... Eric Voss already did a reaction to the full mm -hmm. trailer that's out live on the new Rockstars channel already. He's working on a full uh, scene by scene, frame by frame breakdown that will be coming out tomorrow, Monday at some point. He'll be working through the night uh, fastidiously. Um, but like kind of just some big takeaways. And again, please throw your thoughts in the chat or any questions or whatever. Uh, I love the tone of it. Yeah. I mean, of course that's the, the tone of all these films is like very silly, 
a little bit of heart and then some like very kind of brutal action. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like all of that was conveyed right. in these trailers. You know, acknowledging Disney right from the top, acknowledging like Marvel. Like we haven't heard anyone in the MCU say the word Marvel, obviously. Or Disney. Maybe She Hulk said it. Mm-hmm. Uh, in yeah, the show I think that point. is interesting that he brings up Disney, he brings up Marvel, he brings up the cinematic universe. Yeah. Uh, at the TVA, yeah, and is the TVA aware of themselves being in a movie in, or in a Disney? Yeah, movie? I don't know, right? Like, uh, we is already our TVA the movie, and this TVA is the real life. Ooh, maybe. Local. I mean, we already we're talking about in the office, like the line, like I'm Marvel Jesus or whatever. Is that even in the movie, or like does that get cut out? Because mm. uh, Paradox, which the closed captionings for the trailer reveal that Matthew McFadden's character's name is Paradox which is something that was rumored for a long time, a member of the TVA. He reacts to that Marvel Jesus line right in the trailer, but it's cut well, where he could be reacting to something reaction. else. Yeah, because yeah. it's like, do the characters hear him when he's talking to camera? Is that something yes. in the world that they can and, hear? And I don't Mar- know. Marvel Bradley is famous for putting things in trailers that don't end up right, in movies. Right, right. Eric made a whole video about that. Those feel like, I mean, again, maybe this movie is that meta. And he knows he's in. Yeah. That he's I mean, he's, we see him on the 20th Century Fox logo, so there's definitely a meta ness to this. But there's movie. a world in which that logo could be justified, but the other, those other lines. I mean, even I thought of that when we're in the TVA and we see the, the screens with the different mm-hmm. scenes from Avengers movies, or just Avengers life if you're living in the MCU. <laughs> the like, documentary. Do we think that's exactly what's going to be on those TVs in the film? That's true. They could have just like sliced saluting. In. Well, it's a lot when of it's Captain, Captain America. Captain America's. A lot, well, what if it's like Sam Wilson? Um, right, right, but right. it's like it, mm. we did see a lot of Captain America's Iron Man Civil War. Uh, but it was just. Well, I mean, it was so quick, and I'm not doing the breakdown. Wait until Eric does it. I was like, I only saw those two. I didn't see anyone. You see, really. like you see some from like Avengers: Age of Ultron when they're all in the. F- the yeah. snowy forest. I get correction. I see shot. like the clear Avenger movies. I'm not seeing any of the like newer, like not right. even yeah, yeah. Doctor there's, Strange. There's no, yeah, no, 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 yeah. There's no Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness or anything like that. Yeah. Um, well, and then, you know, we were kind of speculating in the office, a lot of those scenes where it's like snowy, which was a lot of the action mm-hmm. sequence stuff. Like, is that the opening Age of Ultron right. sequence? Yeah, I, I would love that to be. <laughs> I would love that to be. And I would love that he keeps fucking up and the TVA has to keep coming back and redoing Yeah, because he's timeline. like fighting TVA agents. So it's yeah. like, if they're trying to recruit him to help out, why is he like killing them all, right? Yeah. I think that like Paradox is working against the TVA in mm. some way. Like whatever's going on after the end of Loki mm. when they're trying to reshape the TVA and be like, no, we're going to let timelines grow and we're not going to prune things and blah, blah, blah. If like... Paradox from within the TVA is trying to undo it all. If he was the one that lasted with the original general that was right, like right, going right. back and pruning timelines, he was the last one left. Um, I like this theory from that dude toxic on Twitch saying, what if it's really clips of Wolverine from different movies? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what ends up being on those screens. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, I think that could certainly, or like, that could be a five minute long scene where we see a lot of <laughs> clips, including things not from the MCU, mm-hmm. right? We see a Moana clip or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> um, like, welcome to Disney, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, he gets to watch Andor and he loves it. Yes. All 10 episodes. Yeah. Um, forgive me if you guys talked about this already, but Busy Brown sent a super chat saying, just want everyone to know this is clearly the TVA of the Fox stacked universe, mm-hmm. not the one we followed in Loki. So what do you, where, oh, where do you guys okay. sit on that theory that this is like a different uh, TVA? None of that TVA looked like our TVA. Yeah, period. it looks a little different, period. right? Yeah. yeah. But, um, the costume did kind of still look like B-15s when they went to Tennessee to go fight What's just Shelby? I I almost said Shelby. Shelby? (laughs) Shelby. Um, But I was like, yeah, this looks like an entirely different TVA. This is also, he's, we're in his universe. Yeah. This is their universe's TVA. That could be fun. Yeah. It's like a a different TVA that's Mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Because there were some subtle differences. Like, weren't there like a lot of like kind of red highlights in the uniform that I don't recall from the Loki series? Mm. Also, the fact that like, we don't see Mobius. We don't see B-15. Yeah. We don't right. see any recognizable. It has that like 60s vibe to it, but it's different. It had that, I, I like that their interrogation room or whatever was green and ours is that like orange with mm. the number five on it. And I was like, oh yeah, this is kind of, it's different. It doesn't look the same. Um, but yeah, I like the idea that he's evil. Yeah. <laughs> that he's actually the bad guy fucking up everything. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Evan. Um, 
moving on to a different part of the trailer, that snowy area. We've talked about this a little bit off mm -hmm. uh, off air. Uh, a lot of people in the chat discussing it. Flobby Tonsil saying, what's going on with it? Is Doom there? Is it uh, Age of Ultron? What, what do you guys think? Where do you sit on that? So when that, um, like the weird like satellite dish thing unfurls, right. there's a character next to that that is kind of like a hooded wearing like a, yeah, something. Yeah. There's some kind of a mask apparatus. Probably not Doom. Not Doom. Somebody else. There's no we way they just show Doom in a trailer. That'd be insane like, if they did. Yeah. But it wasn't there leaked photos of that set that mm -hmm. had that guy on it? Yeah, there was like, you know, there's been some photo leaks from a the Don't set go look where at you it. saw like the 20th Century Fox logo. Kind of looks like a desert. The people look very Mad Max. We see a lot of that in this trailer with like the spiky wheel thing, like the hamster ball thing. Yeah, that, that vehicle he was on with the unfurling like satellite dish looking thing. We definitely saw those. And, and, and I think I, he's just some sort of like raider. And Pyro kind of looks like he's hanging out with those yeah, guys. Yeah, it's kind right? of a Beyond Thunderdome, uh, yeah. Fury Road energy to some of those people, Tuscan Raider energy. And that's uh, where we see there's a TVA agent. He's chained up, yeah. right? Whoever these folks are probably captured the TVA agent who then gets snatched, maybe by Elias. So Maybe it's the void. I, I also think like there's a couple locations being depicted, right? Mm -hmm. Like the barren, sandy spot where Wolverine walks up on Deadpool when he's lying on the ground looks very different than the snowy tree-filled sure. yeah, yeah. spot, right? So like these could be from completely unrelated parts of the movie, but they're just kind of back to back in a yeah. fun sequence. I was thinking the snow part was in, from Age of Ultron, and someone said that they were gonna have to. He had to save Quicksilver or stop Quicksilver somewhere there, uh, which I mean. Uh, because they cross over the yeah. Fox, the Fox Studio, that would kind of make funny. It, it would suck if it shows up to be like Ralph Boner or Evan <laughs> Peters, yes. but it would be like fun to see him keep messing up, trying to save them from Ultron, corrupting them, or doing something. There's also the first time we saw Wolverine in a Fox X Men movie. The first X Men, he was in snowy Canada, That's like right. hanging out, mm. uh, fighting in that like bar. Oh my! If God. this is gonna be a sequence where they're like he's going to different Wolverines or something, because we do see. You know, a Wolverine playing poker at a table. Is it wearing a white jacket? We don't see his face. He's gonna go to the first class Wolverine that just said uh, "fuck you." To he could go to that. Or no, no, he looks like he's wearing like a debonair white jacket. Right, which in is this, right. That's the character or the storyline known as Patch, where he's like in Madripoor. Wolverine's in Madripoor. He's wearing an eye patch. That's why they call him Patch. The locals call him Patch. Oh, but he's like on his little secret mission or something. He could be just jumping around to different Wolverines. I don't know. Yeah, that's just a, trying to get one Wolverine. <laughs> just one yeah, to like maybe, him. Yeah, maybe they all keep turning him down, right? And like the blue and yellow, the the whatever. Um, because yeah, that that had a very like James Bondy Casino yeah, yeah. Royale uh, look to it. Yeah, Evan. Uh, speaking of Madripoor, Kobe Wan Kenobi asks, um, do you think we'd see Sharon Carter, the power broker, there if we spend time in Madripoor? <sighs> do we ever see Sharon Carter the power <laughs> as the power broker again? ever again? I mean, I think we definitely see her either in. Brave New World or Thunderbolts or Armor Wars, somewhere in there. They yeah. could throw her in there if this is Madripoor. Do it. Establish that she's there. Uh, it could also be like a totally different universe where she's not the power broker. That's true. Well, I, I will say the interesting thing about this trailer, in the rumors and some of the leak set photos, there's a lot of cameos in this movie. Right. They do not give away they don't even get any of them. Wolverine, really. Yeah, technically, we don't even see Wolverine's face. And they give away like a relatively obscure X-Men character, mm -hmm. Pyro, right? Like who probably most people upon first viewing did not recognize right. necessarily. So like, A, they're clearly holding their cards to the vest, which I love, you know, yeah. keep the, the mystery alive. We're already in on this movie. You don't gotta sell us with any cameos. But it's also interesting, they're only showing us previous Fox characters. They're also showing us scenes that have been leaked. Like uh, yeah, most, of, leaked the stuff, yeah. most yeah. of the leaked photos were the scenes that we saw. Yeah. Because I kept being like, oh yeah, we've seen these little shots, but not yeah. edited. You know? Like there's no other than the TV screen showing the Avengers clips. There's no Yeah, they have a, he's not shaking hands. Again, with, they're like, not even the using Hulk the Loki <laughs> character right. in the TVA, right? Like these are almost a different version of the TVA, which is interesting. So like could that be part of the mission? He just has to go like almost like rather than saving the MCU or like introducing himself to the MCU, he has to clean up the Fox universe so that it can be like ready to marry or maybe he's just or something. The you know? TVA in that universe is like, hey, we're getting destroyed over here. And he's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's, <laughs> he's gonna kill us. And they, out, they right? keep trying to grab because there's that weird thing in the very beginning when the time door opened behind them and someone grabs him from behind, but someone they grab him from the front too. 
It's like, why are they not working together? Like, what's no, happening? No, I think they're there? grabbing him from the back and pushing him in. They were taking the wig off before he goes in there. <laughs> just, just no bad wigs allowed. Yeah, no, no bad wigs allowed. A, B, it's just funny. <laughs> you know, Ryan Reynolds yes. was like, why don't you yank this off? Yeah, it is interesting because it does seem like whatever he did at the end of Deadpool Two, right, where he goes and like retcons of things worked. Yes. Because yep. his wife is there. She's alive still. Uh, Shatterstar is alive. Shatterstar yes. is there. Yeah. And now does that mean, you know, in that post credit sequence, he goes to Wolverine during Wolverine Origins, kills that early version of Deadpool that no one liked, uh, and tells that, tells that version of Wolverine, like, hey, one day I'm going to come back and I'm going to say I'm going to need you. Yes. Uh, you got to team up with me. Maybe the movie's like trying to find that guy again. Like he can't yeah. find him again. So that that, that also right means timeline. that in in canon in this world, Ryan Reynolds is dead. Yeah, he's been <laughs> shot in the head reading the Green Lantern script. Which means Blake, I'm here for you. Okay, <laughs> oh. I'll take care of you. Blake. She's Speaking fine. of who won the Super Bowl, Blake Lively. <laughs> I spice. Blake Lively. I spice. <laughs> I spice. Hey man, Confused. they're coming out. They're coming out on the winner's side. They know how to pick a team. Um, yeah, Evan. Um, I feel like there's. You know, we could keep going and talking about the Deadpool trailer forever, but I want to end on uh, one final question if you guys are good with it. Uh, do you think, from Well Rounded Mom, do you think Taylor Swift is still in Deadpool 3? Or Ice will, Spice was ever too. in Deadpool 3? <laughs> I think Ice Spice, they were having a meeting. They were like, hey, uh, you're not even a fart. Can you I, put that in here? I still like the, I bet she is in it and has like a weird cameo. I say weird cameo only in like, it's probably something unexpected. I don't know if it's Dazzler. You don't think it's Dazzler. Or if it's just like her being herself. I don't know. Do you think it could movie. be like the Celine Dion and he's singing a song, just singing uh, a Taylor Swift song? Yeah, with her? it could be something uh, like that, like calling back. Like, and there's like a random homeless woman on the side of the street who's yeah. all filthy and that's Taylor under a bunch of makeup <laughs> or something. Yeah. Or like he leaves Taylor behind in the universe that gets destroyed or something. Uh, <coughs> it does. I mean, if you watched Eric's uh, video about the NFL, Taylor Swift, Deadpool conspiracy, you know, he kind of comes down on like, there's probably not a grand conspiracy, but that Taylor's almost certainly in this movie or yeah. there's some kind of connection there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I bet she's in it. And they're not going to burn that on the first trailer, even though it would have been a great opportunity to do it during the You Super think Bowl. she's in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes? <laughs> Is she the voice of yeah. uh, Noah, Noah or whatever? Yeah. I can talk. I can talk. I can sing. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Let's get to it. Come on. A little flat. A, little flat. <laughs> a lot of flat. We'll continue our Super Bowl coverage in just a second. We wanted to thank Factor for sponsoring this episode of The Break Room. I always want a fresh, delicious meal, but you know, you don't always have time to make one for yourself. Luckily, Factor takes care of that. For me, and now for you. Factor is a meal delivery service that makes eating well easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen meals right to your doorstep. So you can skip shopping, chopping, prepping, cleaning, all that jazz, and just focus on eating deliciously. You've probably heard us say the same thing about HelloFresh in the past. Factor is now owned by HelloFresh. And I switch back and forth between the two of them all the time. You get your little cooking with HelloFresh. You don't gotta cook anything with Factor. It's a nice compliment. Factor meals are pre-prepared, chef crafted, and dietitian approved. There are over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more. Plus, there are also over 55 nutrition packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. Factor meals are ready to eat in just two minutes, so you can go from, yeah, I guess I could go for something to eat, to having a meal in about the, you know, speed it takes you to watch the intro of a break room episode. This week, uh, Factor sent me some delicious, I had some turkey chili, I had a little bit of spicy cheesy chicken, they were all great. Uh, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code breakroom50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you are an active subscriber. What a deal. That's factor75.com and use code breakroom50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for as long as you subscribe. Thank you, Factor. This is not coming out till November. We've got even more time to get hyped for Wicked. Uh, let's let's watch this trailer. <gasps> Are you afraid of me? She didn't need to she do didn't need all it. that. She didn't need it. <laughs> Cynthia said, "I my, gave one opportunity." My big prediction did not come true. I thought they would re recreate like the poster in the movie. Yeah, at the, some the point. little like whisper. The like, yeah, yeah, the the brow down. What might happen in the, the brim movie? of the hat right? down? Oh, you whisper. thought it would be in the trailer? Yeah, I thought they would recreate it for the trailer. Well, the poster is sick as hell. This poster is pretty sick. 
And and of course, if, if folks are not familiar, how could you not be? But uh, based on Wizard of Oz, but it was one of the longest running, most successful musicals on Broadway. Yeah, it's been running for over 20 years, still going. I mean, the longest running musical was The Phantom of the Opera, which recently retired. Did that, beat, did that beat Cats? It did beat Cats, okay. but recently retired, but it will be back. And this is directed by John M. Chu of mm -hmm. Crazy Rich Asians mm -hmm. and other uh, films. Michelle Yeoh. Michelle Yeoh. Parents, speaking of Crazy Rich Asians. Jeff Goldblum. Uh, Chef Goldblum is in this. Um, <laughs> cooking up uh, a nice stew. Uh, but this is one of two Wicked's. They've this broken is a, it up. Yeah, this is part one. They're pulling a dune on us, folks. Uh, and they're ending with Defying Gravity. They already told Ooh. us that. Which is the end of act one in the uh, musical. But Jessica and I talk about this in our reaction. Like, there are shots in this trailer which would be in the second act of the musical. Mm -hmm. oh. So it's interesting that we're seeing them here. Uh, I don't know if these are like flash forwards, if these are visions. Yeah. Someone's having, uh, just had a good idea that maybe like they start with some stuff that happens in the second act and then it's like, there's a freeze frame and they're like, how did I get here? <laughs> it all started back at Shiz University and that Shiz. is the name of the university. <laughs> oh, wow. That's like, uh, I gotta get this book in. What do I call the university? Uh, Shiz, that's fine, Shiz. let's move on. Yeah. Oh and, my she. And of course, it, it is, it, the entire story is kind of a prequel to The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Uh, right? it, Yes. Oh yeah, it's well, it's a retelling. Yeah, yeah. It, it it begins before the Wizard of Oz, and then the Wizard of Oz happens mm -hmm. during the the, yeah, the show. Yeah. Um, How and, dare you? And this is though we only get one beautifully <clears throat> sung note. Mm -hmm. This will be a musical. Yes. Yes. Not this is a secret musical. They once tried again. to hide it, even though everyone <laughs> they, knows the most what uh, popular is. musical of the last twenty years. They tried to hide it from everybody. <laughs> they said we're not going to put singing in this. I don't what? know. <laughs> <laughs> Something has changed within me. Something I'm speaking the mic. Something has changed within me. Um, but yeah, I, and there's new songs that are going to be in this show mm -hmm. or in this movie yeah. that are not in the musical. But if they're doing two parts, I think they're doing every song. They're probably going to do every song. I'm, I'm trying to imagine what song they can't do if, right. unless John freaking hates popular. He's tired of it by now. He's like, oh, the man. balls they'd have to have to not put popular. Yeah, I would walk out. Musical. And they I'd could, come back for they the could drop that song that Piero and Alpha now, was singing. It, no, yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, Cynthia Revo, uh, a little unrecognizable, painted completely green, <laughs> but who I who I, I could recognize her more than Ariana Grande. Bleached looks eyebrows. Very different yeah. with the bleached eyebrows and the blonde hair, right? Yeah, she's going back to her roots. Uh, she, you know, I was, I, trying, I, she, I was trying to censor myself and I couldn't do it. I don't I know. I mean, I got teed up. There were billboards around town for like The Voice when she became like uh, a judge on The Voice, and I was like, who is this person? <laughs> I know I recognize these three other people. I think she looks very different now. I don't know. Now, she also looks a little different in the trailer. Did we too. see her um, her SpongeBob in this trailer? So we talk about it. Bach, uh, what's what's the actor's name? Uh, Ethan Slater. Ethan, Ethan Slater, Slater, who plays Bach. Um, he, you can kind of see him in the background in like one shot in the trailer. You also don't see her sister a lot. Uh, Nessa Rose, who's in a wheelchair, you see her for a second, like in the back of a shot. Mm. Uh, but yeah, they're really holding out on showing him uh, and Nessa in the trailer. Because it's a big surprise. Um, when the more trailers come out, they'll be like, oh my God, he can Yeah, yeah. It's there's not also, of the yeah. Yeah, there's, we don't want to spoil too much in it <laughs> yeah. uh, about now, what happens now, to characters. Uh, Jeff Goldblum is a musician, in addition. Mm -hmm. Has Michelle Yeoh done musicals? I don't know, but also Madame Morble doesn't sing much oh, in the okay. show. She has like a little bit of like, uh, you're gonna She the did wizard. and everything ever all at once. I'm sorry. Well, I she trying. did sing a I song, kept, Because she? someone else asked me, I think Eric was like, has Michelle Yeoh ever sang? And I was like, she does in a one role and I can't remember and it's everything ever all at once. Oh, okay. But I also don't, actually don't quote me on that because I want to go back and see if it's not voiceover or if right. it is actually. Yeah, it's hard, think, it's hard to know if she actually yeah. sang in that. But I think yeah. there's, yeah. I think there has to be something out there also, where she was singing. Everybody that came up in like Hong Kong in the 80s and 90s had to do their own stunts. Right. Had to sing, had to dance. Like the, you had to be like the most incredibly skilled person in the world to come up in like Hong Kong action films. I would, so like, I would doubt it she if she's got really some well. pipes. I think she could put, you know, yeah. no offense to Madame Marble's part, but I think you can you can handle the singing in it. Mm -hmm. Who's, okay. um, I, I have seen the, uh, I did see um, Wicked on Broadway many years Whoa, ago. Whoa, what a flex. Uh, Adina Menzel. Whoa. Wait, you uh, saw the Adele did? Get the hell out of this, this motherfucker. And I saw Joey McIntyre, New Kids on the Block with Fierro. <laughs> 
Uh, who's playing Fiero in this? Uh, what's the gentleman's name? His name uh, is Austin Shaw. I just made I that can't up. remember his oh, name. Okay. I can't he, remember he's, but he's not like a known. He's not. Well, a, he's uh, probably he known. Be I'm not showing my ass right okay. now. He's just not Bowen oh, Yang. He's not Bowen. Jonathan Who? Jonathan Bailey. Oh, oh wait, that's from Bridger- Bridgerton. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. You should know, I knew as soon as he said Jonathan gentleman. Bailey, he doesn't look like he doesn't look like Jonathan Bailey. Okay. And again, another character not not prominent, not heavily featured, featured in that trailer. He's yeah, making the first on his act. Face. Yeah, a little spice um, on his face. And, and as you can tell, we right like we acknowledge here on New Rock Stars, we are Marvel and Star Wars first. Right. But we got a soft spot in our heart for musicals. Baby. I mean, yeah, it's you know a good movie musical is really hard to do, and I wish him the best of luck. I think one like this, this could that, be a billion dollar that has banger. Heavy shit. fantasy elements yeah. that has like. A deep canon and lore with mm-hmm. the Wizard of Oz and everything like that. Like, yeah, we will be covering this and we will be excited. And there's it. like, this trailer had some great costume design, some mm-hmm. great set design. You know, a lot of CG, obviously, what, but like some practical stuff that looks nice. Did you see the Sam Raimi, James Franco, uh, Oz the Great and Powerful? <laughs> oh, with, uh, what's her name? Um, Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis. Yeah. Yeah. Michelle Williams. Did you guys see that? I, I saw that, that about once. About 10 years ago? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't think I did. I don't think I ever saw that. <laughs> Why'd you bring it up? I don't know. That was the last Oz thing. That was what does this Oz have thing. to do with Oz the Great and Powerful? Oz the Great and Powerful. Also, um, there were some flying monkeys in there. There were yes, flying there monkeys. Were Are those monkeys going to hook up? No, those see those With flying monkeys humans. had had tails. Why do you want to see oh, okay. monkeys? Oh, so there's no apes. There. No. There's no apes. No, but uh, as uh, Eric Voss has pointed out before, there was an original part of the show yeah. where there was going to be like an anthropomorphic tiger that someone hooks up with, but that got cut out of the show at one point. Oh, okay. Maybe Zach wrote it. <laughs> Zach wrote it. I'm in. <laughs> Jesus. Um, okay. Uh, any any uh, thoughts in the the chat that we should talk about? Yeah, I think most chats? people are pretty e- excited for Wicked. Uh, is what I'm seeing. Yeah. We have a bunch of theater kids. We got a oh, bunch yeah. of theater kids. I think this is a time where if you have your secret theaterness that you don't want to let it shine, this is your time. This is your time. Go see the movie. <laughs> Go see. Also, it. so Cynthia Revo got her start on Broadway. Recently portrayed Aretha Franklin mm-hmm. in a film, uh, but has done a lot a of non musical films right. lately. She did that Outsider show on HBO. She did uh, Harriet, the movie, and but she sings uh, a she sings song a, on the soundtrack. Yeah. Oh, that's right. And she that's also right. was in Bad Times of the El Royale, where she sings. That's right. Uh, a couple great, times in that great musical in that. sequence. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, very movie. talented actress. Yeah. Uh, will kill this role. We'll have yeah, I'm very excited. A, a great time with those songs. Um, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought of her doing the Harriet song in this musical. <laughs> they might slip it in. Um, they said there's two songs. Right, I don't know. Rise up. <laughs> she could be singing to the monkeys. If someone and she's in like, my rise movie, rise up. If someone in my movie theater turns off the audio, puts that in, plugs it in, and starts playing it, I will freak out. At my theater, they're gonna turn off the audio and play the audio for Kung Fu Panda. Oh, right. <laughs> be like, what is this movie? Zach's gonna be the. We've got to assemble the seven deadliest assassins. <laughs> what? I thought I was here for Wicked. Um, okay. Wow. Uh, wow. Um, real quick, uh, Evan, we should shout out uh, our friends at Jelly Bean Planet. Um, so, uh, Valentine's Day is this week. Evan, Fuck. do you remember that Valentine's Day is this week? I totally forgot. Evan. Yeah. Um, and you know what? Our, <laughs> our friends at Jelly Bean Planet, this is a great gift. Actually, the previous day, I mentioned Alex Berg who uh, put together our KiwiCo kit. He also, he's, he's doing the Lord's work. He bought a bunch of uh, these to send to his daughter. Um, uh, this makes a great Valentine's Day gift. There's the, they're this fun European jelly bean company. These are like all natural, uh, delicious jelly beans that make a great Valentine gift. These are their heart beats. Uh, it's a 23 ounce fun container. And then the jelly beans are in the shape Aww. of a little heart. Aww, adorable. Pomegranate. Um, you can click the link in the description or find them on Amazon. Just search Jelly Bean Planet. Look for this logo. Um, also, look, when I stick my head. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Um, <laughs> Is that having a stroke? What's guys, happening? pomegranate. Oh, <laughs> guys, <What? laughs> it's almost nine o'clock Pacific. We're punch drunk, guys. Dude, We're literally. watching a lot of football. Literally. Um, but. These are really delicious. We've actually, half of the ones on the table yeah, are when almost When you order gone. one, you'll get one that's full. We pro- oh, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the jungle. Ah. Mike Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, logo heads back. No, I was thinking, I'm, I'm, like, a, I'm like, like a clicker from The Last yeah. of Us, yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Jelly Bean Planet. 
Now, Zach, what if my Valentine's Day is an anthropomorphic ape? Would they appreciate this? God, they would eat the hell out of these. Mm. And then they would make very, very hairy love to you. Uh, <laughs> Once you said we were live on YouTube, Zach couldn't control himself. He became a crazy person. He said, 9 p.m. on YouTube, I got you. New rock stars have their car. I used to love that new rock stars channel. What happened to them? They, told me they went live. They went live after the Super Bowl. I don't know what happens. <laughs> Um, so uh, click the link in the description. Again, uh, we thank Jelly Bean Planet. They've, they've been sponsoring us yeah. uh, for a while. Get Order now, get it in time for Valentine's. It makes a great great treat for whoever is your Valentine in your life or for yourself for a nice Valentine Day, day treat. We're now gonna watch uh, the latest trailer for the upcoming Ryan Gosling, Emily Blunt film, The Fall Guy. A little connection to Deadpool. It's directed by Deadpool 2 trailer, uh, have you, or director. Have you seen that meme? Oh, never. <laughs> I'll bring it up in a second. That line oh. felt ADR. It felt really ADR. Um, that is the only song. I've what it, now seen. we've seen we've seen a trailer for Fall. That's not the first trailer. Um, though there's definitely a lot of new footage in that. In uh, a great bringing together of two important parts of the Barbenheimer phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Emily yes. Blunt was in Oppenheimer, and oh, yeah. Gosling, of course, was Ken and oh, Barbie. Yeah, we took both the like non love interest love interest <laughs> <laughs> and put them in a movie. I do right. like I do like this turn of Gosling and like back to his comedy phase a little bit. Uh like the uh, the other guys. The other guys? Not yeah, the, the, yeah, other, the guys, other guys. Yeah, the other guys. And then his guy uh, this nice is Fall guys. guys. Nice. nice guys, the nice, nice guys. guys. Other guys was the Will Ferrell. Yeah, one. I was getting yeah. mixed up. But anyways, this looks like really fun based on like a older TV show. Yes. Yeah, From old movie. Old TV is that a, show. a Lee Majors joint? I think it was a yeah. But um, directed by David Leach, who directed Deadpool two, yeah, uh, and uh, Bullet Train and and other films. Um, hence the kind of the action sequences seem to have mm. that kind of the big. He loves a big cast. He loves like the action sequences. Well, he's Some been practical a, looking action sequences. He's been a stunt double for like thirty years. He was Brad Pitt's stunt double oh, for ten, okay. twelve years. Over or something like that. That's why he always works with Brad Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> Just so everybody knows. Yeah. Will Brad Pitt have a small cameo in this? Watch him. Think? Yeah. Watch him. Because in the whatchamacallit city, the lost city, Brad Pitt does a cameo in that. Yeah. And it's connected to the bullet train cameo that he made. Oh, okay. And okay. I'm like, God, oh. Dave Leach is just throwing Brad Pitt in everything. <laughs> you know? It um, works. Yeah, but I mean this movie looks really fun. I will say, like, having been mildly burned recently by the gray man. Ooh, yeah, that was a with, burn. With Ryan Gosling in kind of a comedic action role, I really didn't enjoy that movie, but that was a different, that was the Russo Brothers, that was Netflix, this is theatrical, I love Emily Blunt, I'm I'm still in. Yeah. Um, and Aaron Taylor Johnson, we can get a ton of looks at him, but he's playing the movie star that Ryan Gosling is the stunt double for. Of course, potentially a big year for him. Homeboy's got Craven the Hunter. ATJ. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, and, and maybe a Deadpool 3 cameo. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And bring him back Quicksilver. Um, Do they bring him back for Godzilla X Kong? They bring oh, him back. For New Empire? He was in the first fun. Godzilla Damn, movie. Damn, ATJ was really like, I'm going to try my foot in a little bit of everything. Yeah, he was and trying. And nothing will stick. He was trying. Uh, could he be an acolyte? Is he in the... Is he an acolyte? Is he in the High Republic era? Is he in Kung Fu Panda 4? <laughs> Ooh. Is he one of the seven deadly assassins? <laughs> um, real quick, I just want to talk about trailers we did not see today, mm. Mm. Uh, or have not seen yet for things we are getting in 2024. We were half expecting a big juicy Disney Plus trailer. Yeah, they gave us a, a not juicy Disney Plus A text Plus only, uh, made in... Um, Apple, uh, Apple t yeah. <laughs> text or whatever. Uh, of lines of dialogue we've already heard in yes. TV shows and movies. Because this year for Disney Plus, we know we're getting two Star Wars shows. Mm -hmm. We believe so, right? The Acolyte and Skeleton Crew. Um, we got Agatha Coven of Chaos. We've got a couple animated series we're excited about, including X-Men 97 that we hope drops soon. Mm -hmm. um, so we didn't get any look at any Disney Plus stuff. Films that we didn't see a trailer for yet. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, mm -hmm. um, Gladiator 2, mm -hmm. uh, what else? Inside Out. Inside Out 2, yes, that's a good one. This uh, this secret Moana movie that is dropping this year out of nowhere. Um, Evan? Oh, the Godzilla Kong trailer, they said it would come out Wednesday. Yeah, they moved yeah, it to right. Wednesday. Yeah. Right. yeah. They're going to wait on that. Which, hey, I don't fault any movie studio for wanting to save $7 million. Right, right, right. I think Hulu long. dropped a trailer, but it wasn't during the Super Bowl. Like online, because I was like, "Oh no, I need to for go like back Hulu and look shows? at it." And no, it's for a movie that's coming oh. out. I think on Hulu. I need to go back and look at it. Mm. And I, because I felt bad, because I was like, "Oh no, they just didn't want to pay for the Super Bowl, <laughs> the Super Bowl I space." Mean, uh, Alien Romulus 
We just yeah. recently learned that that's the full title of the new Alien movie. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a lighter year for films than usual because the strikes delayed so much stuff. But there's still a lot coming out. And, like, we've seen trailers for a bunch, and we're hoping to see more trailers soon for everything that didn't want to pay for the Super Bowl. Yeah. Um, Evan, before we wrap up, do we have some good lingering uh, chat questions, shout outs, yeah. thoughts? We have a lot, so let's right. let's let's blow through them real fast. Um, Nathan six one six, how much do you believe Deadpool and Wolverine will tie into Secret Wars? Um, it seems, I mean, that comic is you know feels like it will be directly nodding to it, right? I mean, Jessica, you spotted I that saw in that real time. In yeah. real and time, I, when I the did trailer not see... drop, we watched. It, I said, "Is that is that the magazine?" When you guys watch our reaction, it looks like I'm dead, <laughs> and it's because I'm so tired. We've all we're all tired, and I was like. Wait, no, I see but that. Jessica, I was like, I see it. Jessica truly saw this in real time. And like, it is tiny yes. on the screen. Like Eric like zoomed in in the reaction and whatever. Jessica not only saw it, she immediately knew that it was a Secret Invasion comic, which that's not even- Secret Wars. Secret Wars, yeah. sorry. No, um, no. Uh, yeah, so kudos to you. But yeah, it feels the like- job made me a maniac. They would not plant that there. Like they would put a Deadpool comic, they would do well, something else. I, unless. I love the idea that is Battle World, even if we're not there right. for a long time, that's where the 20th Century Fox logo is. Like imagine like a freaking uh, Planet of the Apes, we ruined this world and it is Battle World. Battle World just took pieces of actual like America, Europe, everywhere, like everywhere on the globe. And that was the 20th Century Fox logo and threw it on this planet to make this. And we're just in the Sahara Desert part of it. And even if we jump out of it, I'm like, we're, if we land there for a second, yeah. I'm gonna eat that up. I mean, that's a good place up. to and then, yeah. put Deadpool, right? Until Secret Wars, like at the end of this movie, if he's trapped on Battle World, we he's won't see him person, again until like Avengers 6 or whatever. If him and Wolverine are the first people on Battle World and just yeah. are like, yeah, we've been here for a minute. <laughs> we're just stuck. Ooh. Or if he goes to Battle World, TVA brings him back somehow. He's like, I was on a planet. <laughs> Ruled by Ooh. a crazy man. I mean, and all metal. Could this be one of the best post credit scenes yeah. in a long time? If, like, the movie ends, Wolverine and Deadpool are hanging out, smoking stogies, whatever. Little Tom Holland. <laughs> He's like, we say little Tom I'm Holland. Is he tiny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby Tom Holland. Yeah. Hey, yo, I'm, I'm tiny yeah. Tom Holland. No, no, no. But <laughs> Why? Why like that? Right? Or Mark Ruffalo, or whatever. Somebody walks into frame. But they're, they're tiny. Like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. They're microscopic. Also, they have an ape with them. <laughs> And he's like, this is my new partner. Continue with <laughs> uh, Ryan Jefferson says, the snowy scene could also be from Fantastic Four Silver Surfer. Oh, that'd be uh, funny as hell. Yeah. He, there's no way he's going to be able to save the Silver Surfer. <laughs> Silver Surfer's going to I hope he goes there him. and they're like, are you here to save us? like, eh. no. no. <laughs> just wanted to say we're good. Do you think, like, do you think in, in a scene like that, he would call out the CGI? He's Oof, like, the technology's I mean, getting a lot better. No, on, yeah. uh, he would be like, look at that Ken crotch. That's <laughs> 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 the first thing he would say. Now that like, it's, you know, it's done, like 20th Century Fox is gone. They're, yeah, they, can say they can't they get mad. Yeah, Evan. Um, Omar Alora says, please call the Deadpool merch the merch with the mouth. Pretty fun. I think we were tossing that. The out. merch with the mouth. I believe producer John might have suggested yeah. the very same thing earlier. Yeah. He did. Yeah. Enough, you great, get a, great minds think alike. You can get a Best Bub shirt on nerdriot.shop. We're in a Best Bub shirt right now. We also have our multiversal tour. Yeah. Oh, oh. That's the hoodie version of the shirt Eric was wearing in the reaction video. Yeah. Yeah. You can get a, a lilac hoodie. You can get a black hoodie. Lilac. Uh, yeah. Lilac. It's looking good. Don't have you uh, seen that? I was laughing so much when you were doing the jelly beans. Have you seen that meme of that woman that's like, I put a whole <laughs> bag of jelly beans. <laughs> I'm not going to finish it. No. <laughs> Evan knows. Evan, you know. Oh share, my God! Share they, that the on people Slack. in the comments absolutely know what Jessica, I'm talking about. Jessica, you have got to get off TikTok. It's Valentine's <laughs> Day, so what better thing to do than to get these jelly beans for that meme? Okay, continue. I gotta look up this meme. No, yeah. don't, don't do it here. Oh, okay. Uh, Jeremy Morris says uh, probably or definitely a different TVA. Loki established that the TVA only watches the sacred timeline, which is said to be six one six in episode one and shown by He Who Remains. Definitely, that's an interesting thought. I like yeah, that. could be switched up though. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, and it's also interesting, right? Like, Deadpool started production before Loki season two was released, but finished after Loki mm -hmm. season two was released, right? So, like, we would hope that there was some shared knowledge. Somehow they will figure out how those two things fit together, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Marco Santos says the action looks dope. Logan in his past disguise was cool. And that person in that bold person in that oh. one shot might be Charles Xavier's sister. 
Ah, yes. yes. Yeah, we were talking about that before. That character's name is Cassandra, Cassandra Nova. Yeah. Yes. I thought you were talking about the bald man at the birthday party. I was like, that is not her. <laughs> I was like, what if it her. is? No, I don't think it is. Charles, I'm oh, sorry, are we sure they said bald and not bold? Because there were definitely some bold characters. Mm, very bold. Bold. Well, yeah. very bold. Uh, last two here, Glenn's uh, and a few other people saying, is Vanisher at the birthday party? I didn't see him. <laughs> 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 Did he survive? <laughs> oh, I guess they could go back. I guess yeah, they went yeah. back and saved him. I mean, speaking of a Brad Pitt cameo. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, right. Oh, God. Yeah. He keeps coming back. He's like, I enjoy it here. Got to zoom in and see if there's any floating cups or anything, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's um, true. Kobe Wan Kenobi, we'll, we'll finish on this because I like this. Do you think we could see Deadpool find and talk to Kevin or even kill him? Ooh. Kevin from She-Hulk. I mean, bringing I Kevin so. back would be really good. I, I think it was a very that. She-Hulk thing. Jessica Gao said it too, that it was like, they don't want to go back to it. <laughs> like Marvel doesn't want to acknowledge it again, but that's that's behind the scenes. I, I, he could do it. I just I doubt that they'll be like, yeah, let's bring Kevin in. Or, or maybe there's like another way that they acknowledge kind of the behind the scenes. I hope Kevin Bot is there and at like the premiere, Kevin Feige's like sitting in his chair with his <laughs> hat on. I yeah. hate the Kevin Feige. <laughs> he's mean cuter me. than me. I mean, Everyone's laughing. And Kevin we know Kevin Feige is excited about it. He's already wearing the, the He's wearing hat. the merch. He's wearing now, the merch. Now we, right, was that at the, the Saturn Awards, I think? Yes, right. Uh, he was on stage wearing a, a hat that had the logo. And then on the back, we were trying to decipher what it said. And you couldn't really see. There weren't great photos, and it was the back of his head. But, like, I wonder now, now that we know the official side of the movie, if, if that's what it yeah, was saying. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah. Do you think how, like, headphones mess up the shape of your head? His hats have made, like, a little indent oh. all the time now. Do, oh. What size do you think he is? What does the men have to measure in, like, inches? They're like, yeah, eight, it's like he's the seven, seven and three quarters or eight and a half. I'll Google whatever. it. I'll figure it out. I think it's, like, a Hannibal scenario where his, his skull has been removed on the top and his brain is exposed. <laughs> it's just soft up there. So wait, that's what the hat well, is that's, for. Well, that's <laughs> Disney is trying to extract all the good information from it so that yeah, they yeah, can yeah. replicate him and, yeah, keep him around forever. Yeah. Um, or just eat his delicious... Mm, delicious, mm. delicious brains. Who, what do you think would be the most delicious brain? I think, well, but I don't think knowledge makes your brain taste better. Right. In I fact, maybe maybe in like brain. in the same way that like um, Kobe beef comes from like Japanese cows that have never had to work hard and just get massaged and right, get right, sake right. all day. So like maybe the most delicious brain is the person who's done the least thinking. Ooh, you know? Ooh okay. John, let me eat your brain. <laughs> no, 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 John. John Producer John, 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 take it straight. Don't, don't respond, John, you're off mic. <laughs> John going on a date with an anthropomorphic ape. <laughs> oh, John, would you ever date an ape? Sure, yeah, why not? Oh, okay, he's in. Great, he's fantasy in. fulfilled. Um, folks, you had to stick around to the end <laughs> to get the answer to the real burning questions. The real burning questions. Oh my God. Everybody um, Google that meme. <laughs> I got it. Well, immediately. Maybe we'll we'll edit that in. The, this uh, episode will end <laughs> with the jelly bean it. meme. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this special uh, later Sunday night edition of uh, Break Room here on New Rock Stars. If if you like this, this combination of people, some other people you will like, uh, some other familiar faces appear in this similar format on the Break Room channel. Uh, find us on YouTube at Break Room NR. We are live streaming on Twitch uh, a lot of weekdays, often at 3 p.m. Pacific or thereabouts. 305 mm -hmm. Sharp, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Follow us on socials to know. Uh, Producer Evan does a good job of posting when we're about to go live and posting fun BTS stuff on Instagram. Uh, yeah, and most importantly, uh, supporting rock stars. Keep an eye out for Jessica's going to do a great trailer breakdown of the Twisters trailer that I'm very excited to watch. Uh, what is inside that Twitter? How do you get twin questions? I don't know. She will find out. I will find out. And I will also break down Beyonce, just in general. Oh, act two. Act two. I will break down Beyonce act two. Ooh. No, I won't. they won't let me do that. No, we, we're working on it. We're working on it. Um, okay, thank you so much for watching, everybody. We appreciate everybody who's watching on Twitch, on YouTube, everybody that's sending super chats and bits and subs and all that kind of stuff. We really appreciate your support. Uh, we wanted to make this a big special day because we are super hyped about Deadpool. Yeah. And I think, I think we accomplished it. Yeah. Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. We needed that to be on. All right. Thank you, everybody.